Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Are you in San Miguel, Carlita? Yes. Y Padre Santo, qué calor está haciendo. It's horrible. <laughs> Cometí el error de tomar chocolate caliente. Hoy estoy que me achichar. Uh, ya me imagino. Delicious chocolate. Yes, but now no. It's extremely, extremely hot. But terrible, terribly hot. So I shouldn't have. <laughs> Until after class because it's it's terrible. The weather is very, very hot after the rain. We had a very delicious rain here. But now, after the rain, <clears throat> it has become very, very hot. When? It doesn't matter, teacher. Hmm? No matter. Uh, chocolate is chocolate. <laughs> yes. Chocolate is chocolate, definitely. When are we ready to start? We finish tomorrow. We are at one day to finish. Wow, time is really flying. A ver, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Please. Eh, Ana, Alicia. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué, no hay. David. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Diego Batres. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Eh, Gemma Carolina. Gemma, Gemma. No. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. <coughs> José Alfredo. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Liseta Yanara. Present teacher. No. Nubia Zulema. Nubia, Oscar Mauricio, Oscar Oscar, Rebeca Marcela, Rebeca, Rebeca, 
Rebeca. Rebeca, 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 no hay. Ok. Rodrigo Marcelo. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. No, dice no. Rodrigo, Rebeca, Oscar, Nubia Zulema, Karen Stephanie, José Alfredo, Jessica. Gracias, teacher. Hola, teacher. Ay. Este, voy a estar de oyente un rato porque todavía no he terminado con mi actividad. Pacho. Jessica Lisset. Gemma Carolina. Diego. Carlos Josué. Is still working, teacher. Oh, ok. Present, teacher. Carlos. Yes. Ok. Ana. Present teacher, good evening. Uy, espérenme que me trabo el teclado. Ahí está. Ana, yes. Good evening. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ahí estamos. Hoy sí. <coughs> We are ready. Les decía al principio que estamos a dos días. Right? We finish tomorrow. And then you will be very, very happy. Resting for, I guess, three days. And you're supposed to start on Monday 25th. Right? Okay. Ana se quedó congelada. Ana, 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 Ana. Frozen. Me asustan porque yo se he hecho la congelada, pero no. Vaya, vamos a ver. I'm sharing with you. This is our video conference number 24. The importance of training programs, right? That's what we are going to be discussing today. What is the importance of training programs? You will tell me. Uh, we have a couple of questions here. Would you, what would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive a training? And the next question, do you think online courses are a good alternative option? What do you think? When we say uh, that you cannot afford, means that you can't do it because if you do it, you get in trouble. Yeah? So there is no way to give them time for training. No way. I get in trouble as a manager if I give you time for training in the work. So I cannot do it. Then the question says, what would you do? Imagine that you're the manager, right? What would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? And the next question, do you think online courses are a good alternative options. There are two types of, 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 of online courses, right? Like uh, the one you have right now, that's an online course, but you connect every day. That is synchromatic. But asynchromatic is the one where uh, you enter to, to see the material, uh, asynchronic, sorry, 
synchronic and asynchronic, right? So if you, a, a right now you are in a synchronic course, synchronic means you connect all at the same time to discuss something and to receive instructions. But if that is asynchronic, that means that you make your own time to read the material, to watch the videos, and to do whatever exercise you have to do, right? So this course is part synchronic and part asynchronic, right? Because when you work on the platform, you do it on your time. But when you are here, you have to connect to class on a specific time. Okay, so do you think online courses are a good alternative option? You tell me yes, why? No, why not? Okay, well, I'm going to send you to groups for you to discuss with your partners. I'm going to stop sharing. <clears throat> Teacher, eh, puede ser de, eh, que se te viente no, la media, una media hora, porfa. ¿Quién? Adriana. Ah, ok. Es que solo oía la voz, pero así que no miraba. Va, ok, Adriana, Diego es de oyente. ¿Todos los demás están acá? Yes. Ok. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Vaya, pues. Yes, bueno. Teacher. De todos modos, yo lo voy a mandar ahorita en esta discusión en tríos. Solo vamos a ver que no me queden dos. Bien, Hello, Oscar. Que no me queden dos oyentes en un mismo grupo. Okay. Allá, ¿dónde está Adriana? Adriana, no, Miki. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Remember, discuss the questions, give your own answer. Right, what do you think? Join your groups, watch your groups, and enter. Grace, are you here? Try to join a group. Eh, yes, teacher, sorry, estaba en una llamada de trabajo. Ahorita ya entró el grupo. Karen y Stephanie, try to join. Jessica Lisset, Karen, que me dejan cutito el grupo. Aunque son buenos para la persona porque al fin tienen el tema capacitado. Sí, creo que esa es la mejor opción. En inglés, en inglés, en inglés. Vamos. Es better option online. Training on, online.
after work. Sí. Seleccionar que sea por por cierto tiempo del entrenamiento. Uh -huh. I don't hear you. You have two questions over there. Podría ser uh, the best option is to be able to pro provide training online after work hours. Mm -hmm. Why you said? For me, it's better mm -hmm. presential, but but maybe uh, we can mm -hmm. because the in, in for example in 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 the majority, in most, say, in the most uh, companies. Eh, sí, sí. Don't like in 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 hours in of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, it's better for the company. Sí. <coughs> Entonces sería si le damos, si le damos proporcionar las alternativas para, para el curso. Voy a compartir. Ahí está. Entonces, para el de question number one. Ajá. El de... A ver, me proporcionar alternativas. Provide alternatives. Provide alternatives. And during not working hours. Uh, as the teacher said, as the teacher said, I maybe I can organize a synchro a synchromatic uh, training the uh, look uh, looking for the time for every person yes it's a good option. be another option mm -hmm. yes give them Asincromático, ¿cómo se escribe? Era? Asincrónico es la cosa. Asincrónico. 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 Sí. No training. So everyone can organize the time. Another option. Um, uh, I think 
is an excellent tool online courses. Yes, because each person can decide when to receive the the training or the course. Yeah. Over ocean in my company, uh, user to study to send to my coworkers to join me. Okay. My word um this this uh, training in English is approved for the manager, the manager. Mm -hmm. He approved if I I can receive it. But this in in hours how the works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, or sería training no. no training training online <laughs> teacher en este caso virtual training training online curso online no sí, pero no sería sí. curso sería capacitación sí a training a training porque un curso ya es más largo virtual training uh -huh, virtual training the answer the most convenient way to program will be to create a calendar on the off then make up the day or receive virtual training okay. number two Uh -huh, porque lo del el online, online courses y de second. Por eso es lo que estamos recibiendo ahorita en inglés. Y de second question. Uh -huh. Ajá, en cambio de entrenamiento ya, o capacitación es diferente. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, because the training is short, right? Can be K, one hour, two hours. But the uh -huh. course takes more time. Uh -huh. Ok. Y en the second questions. Say, do you think online course are a good alternative option? I think yes. For me, I think yes. That those who do not have much free time. Mm -hmm. Karen se nos fue. Hola. Hello. Ah, uh, but eh, my, my opinion is yes. I think that is a good alternative. Mm -hmm. Opinion. Mm. Sería out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good alternative. Good alternative. Because Because we can make better use of time. We can make better make uh -huh. we can no can sin a tech. Mm -hmm. We can 
make better use. Better use. No. Use. Use de usar. No de juguito. Nah. <risa> Tenemos hambre, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, yo ya vi, yo queremos esto. Use of time. Better use of time. Ok. Seguimos. I think. Ok. Finish. O le agregamos más. El inglés está dentro de mí a veces. <ríe> si no lo cambio por jugo. <ríe> Dicha por colágeno, mi. Colágeno. <ríe> ¿Cómo colágeno? Eh, yo tomo colágeno. No, porque... deja... Me dejaron en la luna porque había escuchado eso del colágeno, pero de otra manera. ¡Ay, no! ¡Vaya, Rosy! ¿En serio? Richard, el mío es en líquido, así, así como jugo ah, de naranja, líquido. porque sabe a naranja. Bueno, te lo recomiendo, Richard, ah. lleva, no es solo colágeno, lleva, eh, lleva colágeno hidrolizado, coenzima, vitamina E, D, A, C y antioxidantes. Este. También lleva ese. Ah, pero si sí es como americano, ¿verdad? Algo así. Uh -huh. It is in English. <risa> <risa> ya sé por qué lado se va usted el colágeno, hombre. <risa> ah, <¿verdad? risa> If you no. want to speak English, you have to drink that one. Ah. <risa> <risa> no, pues voy a tomar de ese para hablar en inglés yo también. <risa> yes, yes. It will work. No, es la buena hora para tomar colágeno en la noche. Really, really. Oh. I take it in the Why? morning. Oh. Y esto, Rosy, para qué es bueno. Mire, yo ya llego a los 40 casi y yo salgo a correr y las rodillas me truenan. Entonces, eso me ayuda a bajar de colación. <risa> When you, when you feel very crunchy, Karen. <laughs> Sometimes that you feel very crunchy. You move and it's track. You make a track. You one arm and crack. And crack. You, you have a, a crispy knee. <laughs> yes, so if you feel very crunchy, it's a good <laughs> Yes. 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 Okay. I haven't I haven't been crunchy anymore since I started. <laughs> but also you have to drink a lot of water. Yes. No be light. Water. This is water. Yeah. Right? Yeah, drink a lot of water. That helps too. Yes. Definitely. Okay, bueno, you finish, right? Yes, yeah, right. Okay, make better use of time. See, definitely. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. I prefer online uh, Train. training because I don't have to move. Mm -hmm. I can be in the place where I am. I wake up, take a shower, get ready for the training. And then if I'm hungry, I can eat something. <laughs> right, in, in but they my, have to move. In my, in my wife's company, mm -hmm. they have a, a, a meeting in every Monday. We work in a, in a Wachapan. And uh, she must move to San Salvador. For the training. In, for the training and then the meeting is um, three hours, sometimes two hours. And the way is take for she's two and a half. She lives in Aguachapan. No, she works in Aguachapan. 
She works in... We live uh, in Santa Ana. Okay, so right in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Right in the middle of her job and the training. Wow. Wow, but traveling uh -huh. from Aguachapan. Oh, well, she's coming from Santa Ana on Monday, I imagine. No. No. She's coming. Yeah. She's coming to, uh, from Aguachapan. Uh, from Aguachapan to San Salvador. Wow. Two hours and a half, three hours. Right? Yes, right. Traffic. And then three hours of training and three hours back. Uh -huh. Oh my God. And I, I, I say, I say uh, why, why don't make the, the meeting virtual? Yeah, definitely. And the boss, the boss don't want. Yeah, that would okay. be better because uh, People don't have to move. Mm -hmm. Time is money, right? So yeah. you, don't, you don't have to move so far. You can eat in peace. <laughs> yeah. At least one day a week. <laughs> one day a week and sometimes two, wait, two days a week. That's very, very tiny because Aguachapan is not near. No. Uh -huh. It's very far. We go to, to Aguachapan, but okay, once a year, once a year, and it's very, very tiring. It's a very tiring trip. Yeah. Because we do it a, a trip of the day. Right. Mm -hmm just a trip of the day. So we go visit my aunt, we have lunch with her and then we come back. To be here at about six in San mm -hmm. Salvador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not to be late in the street. Yeah. Okay, well, bueno, vámonos. Okay, vámonos. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver, Karen. Karen, Karen. Bueno, I'm going to share. Okay. Still missing a couple of people. A ver, who wants to share first? What would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? If you say, come on, we're too busy. I cannot give you time for training. Mm -hmm. What would you do, Anna? We were saying, oh, my screen was erased. Can you help me, Jose, Carlos Josue? Rebecca. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we could modify the schedules. Uh, the working could... schedule or the training schedule? Mm, no, the work schedule. The work schedule. Uh, for create a time for training. Okay. Okay, okay. Give training one by one or groups or teams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give them asynchronous training so everyone organize their time. And we could organize the training in more time uh, days, in more days. 
one hour per, per day? For not uh, having so much problem with the, with the schedule. Mm -hmm. I remember some years ago when I started working, trainings were at six o'clock in the morning. Imagine, Saturdays, Saturdays. We started working Saturday at eight o'clock, but the training was at six o'clock in the morning. So I had to leave home at 5.30 to be in my workplace at six o'clock for the training. And if we were not exactly at six o'clock there, it was like, okay, so sorry, you cannot enter because the door was closed. <laughs> yes. Así era. Teacher, Have... another, another thing that we were talking was about if the trainings uh, have, uh, if the extra time for training have to have payments. But remember that the, the boss says that he cannot afford to give you time away for trainings. Mucho menos le va a pagar. ¿Sí? If he cannot give you, remember we said when you say cannot afford to do something means that you definitely cannot do it because you will get in big trouble if you do it. Yeah? So he cannot change the schedule and he cannot pay you. He won't do it because he, if he does it, he will be in serious problem. So it's not possible. Definitely. He will, he, and that's why uh, uh, can't afford, that's what can't afford means. That you cannot do something because you will be in serious problem if you do it. Yeah. And if he does it, he will be, in serious, 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 serious problem. Imagine. So, if he cannot take time, he won't be able to take out money either to pay you, right? We wish that could be possible. We as employees, that's what we decide. I think I'm but no, no. You oh, because the the training is requiring me for the work for continuous the work. Exactly, exactly. And now, if you check in the contracts, in the contract that you sign at the beginning of the year, says that you should be trained, that you should attend trainings, so they won't pay you. Right, because that's a, a part, like a responsibility for you to be in the training. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be a, a definitely, yo le voto a moral y le digo, mire, no le va a pagar, ¿por qué no? <laughs> right, because uh, definitely, it, it, that's like the, the, the way, right? It, it, it is not possible. But what do you think about online courses? Are they a good alternative option online? You were saying you're training in an in a, a synchronic way so people can make their own time. So if people make their own time for that training, you don't need to change the schedule because it will be asynchronic in your own time, not during working time, right? Imagine it is a restaurant, right? And you're extremely busy from breakfast to dinner, and that would be totally impossible to give you time that you can have an online training. 
So you can take it on the weekend that you don't work or on the day that you have off. Of course, it shouldn't be like that, right? But unfortunately, that's the reality we face, right? Aha, uh -huh. vamos a ver. Sí, Rebecca, tell me. Rebecca, Marcela, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. A ver, what would you do if you can't afford to give a time away to your employees to receive training? Teacher, I, I say good with Carlos and Anna. Oh, you were together. Mire que ojo el mío va. And Carla, Lorena, tell me. I think <clears throat> online course is a good idea. Why, Lorena? Digo, Carla. Bueno, Carla, Lorena. <laughs> Why do you think an online course is a, is a good alternative option? Uh, when the companies doesn't have permission for training in hours, in working hours. In hours, uh -huh. um, It's a good idea because um, it's... Uh, Mm. It's not in, in working hours. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, you can make your own time, right? Yes. And choose the best option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's move to the conversation now. Ah. Move. Eh, bueno, let's move this one. Check the conversation. I'm having uh, Felix and Julia, right? We have Felix and Julia talking. He says, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another country. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm, I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning, for e-learning e options next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Okay, now let's read it together. Uh, you repeat after me, right? I'm having a training next week. I'm having a, I'm having a training, training next, next week. week. But I have to travel to another country, to another city. But I have to travel, have to, travel to another, to another city. city. Sounds like you will be busy. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety. I'm taking, I'm taking an e-learning e training on kitchen safety. safety. On kitchen safety procedures this weekend. On the kitchen safety procedures this weekend. But I can't take, take it from home. But I, I can't take, take it, it from, from home. home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Cool. I will ask, I will ask for e-learning e options, 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 options next time. Next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. Yeah. 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 Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, one more time. I'm having a training next week. I'm, I'm having, having a training, a training next, week. next week. But I have to travel to another city. But, but I, I have, have to, to travel, travel to another, another city. city. Sounds like you will be busy. Sounds, Sounds like you will be busy. Will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. 
I'm taking, I'm taking an e learning, learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. But I can't take it from home. But, but I, I take it from, take from it home. home. Cool. I will ask for e learning options next time. Cool. cool. We, I, I will, will ask for e learning options, options next, time. next time. Next time. Yeah, it's yeah. the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. Yeah, yeah. look at the, look time. At the time. I'm meeting, I'm meeting some, some friends, friends at, at the conference, conference tonight. tonight. Oh. See you later. See you later. Okay. See you, later. you see, we have two options here, right? One, Felix is having a training that it's like Alberto's wife, right? Alberto. He has to go to the place where he's going to receive the training, right? So he has to travel and it, the training is in another city, right? While Julia has a training on the weekend, but it's an online training. So she will take it from home, right? So we have the two possibilities here as the options that you were given before. Well, uh, I'm going to send you to the groups. You're going to move, practice the conversation, and then, and then uh, complete this exercise, right? Answer it or so complete these sentences about the conversation. Any question? No, no question. <laughs> no. No. Vamos a ver, now we're 17. Oh. Yeah, no. Este, José Alberto, ya está. ¿O sigue trabajando? José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Ya casi me desocupo, teacher. Ya casi, ya casi. ¿Y Adriana? Eh, yo creo que después de la attendance, teacher. Ah, falta un montón para la pena. Ya casi, ya casi termino un reporte. Bueno. Quiero ver si sí, mucho grupo se hizo. Muy poquito, digo. Voy a hacer uno más. Vamos a ver. Vamos a mandar a Adriana un grupo de tres. Y a um, José Alfredo Guerayo. José Alfredo, se me perdió. Oh. Aquí está. Vaya, vámonos pues. You practice, eh, dejo dos grupos de tres. For you to practice the conversation. And remember, once you finish, you complete the sentences in activity three. There you go. There you go, try to join. Nice, nice. Carlos Josué, try to join. Grace Michelle, try to join your group. Grace Michelle, are you here? Okay. Parte ya. Uh, si gusta compártelo usted, lo que pasa es que estoy desde el celular. Ok. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Eh, creo que vamos a practicar la conversación y a completar las partes que siguen. Ok. Aquí está, si ya puede verla. Ya, ya. Okay. Voy a comenzar entonces. Vaya, está bien. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. 
sounds like like you will be bus but busy i am taking um and learning training on chicken safety procedures this weekend but i can take it from home cool i will ask for e-learning options next time yeah look look at the time i am meeting some friends at a conference tonight see you later okay Cambiamo. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. 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 Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. Procedures. I... Procedures. Procedures. Procedures this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool. I will ask for, ask for. See you later. Okay. Now you go, Felix. Mm -hmm. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at conference. No, pero me Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay. In this case, look at the conversation and complete the sentence. I am having a mm -hmm. next week. Hola. Hoy sí. Hoy Hoy sí, te escucho listo. Bueno, completemos. Teacher. Can me? Teacher. Llegame. Can you hear me? Or Ahorita sí también te escucho. Sure, sure. Teacher. Ana, yo I can hear you, Ana. Ella no nos escucha, teacher. Tiene problemas con su inter. <risa> Ay, no. Teacher. <risa> ya le escribí ahí al chat. I am disconnecting and connecting again. In... But we can hear you, Anna. Ah, okay. We can hear you. Where? We're going to try to work. Sometimes you ah, sound okay. like Thank a robot. You. Sometimes you sound oh, we like were, a robot. We were... Uh -huh. Trying to answer the uh, to answer what in number three. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Complete the sentences. Okay. Okay. So we can practice the conversation, Rebecca. Okay. Hola. Hola. 
Hola. Hola. Hola. Si me escucha. Ahorita sí. Ahorita sí. Yes, yes. Yes. Me practice the conversation. Okay. I Hello. Hola. Me toca. Hello, hello. 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 Hola. Hola. Ahí está. Vaya. Ay, ay. Eso fue el proceso. It's weekend, but I can take it for, from home. Cool. I will ask for e learning option next. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Teacher. Tell me. Traducción de e learning. E learning es un. Eh, como ustedes ahorita, you are e-learning. Aprendiendo. Pero, pero en internet. Así. Mm. Online. Ajá. Online. Sí, es e-learning tiene que ver con los cursos que se toman online. Oh. Electrónicamente. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Thank you. Sí. Me? Okay. I have a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on teaching software procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I need some friends at, at the conference tonight. Okay. See you later. Okay. Otra vez. Okay. Thank you. I'm having a training in a week, but I have to travel to another city. Some like you will be busy. I am taking an learning training or kitchen saving procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I am meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay. Finish teacher. You complete all the sentences? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. Bueno. I'm going to check just one more group and then I call you, okay? Sounds like you will be busy. I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Oh, cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I am meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. See you later. Now okay. I am Felix. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. 
So, like you will be. Sounds. Sounds. sounds like it. Uh -huh. you, you will be busy. I am taking um, a learning training on kitchen, kitchen safety, produce safety, safety, produce this weekend, but no, but I can, but, but, but I can, Katie, but I can, Kate, eat for home. From home. From cool. home. I will ask for e learning option next time. Hi, Lucky, and the time. I am waiting. So me friends, freaks, no friends. Some friends. Some friends um, and comfort tonight. See you later. 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 See you later. Later. See you later, alligator. See you later. <laughs> See you later, alligator. See you later. 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 <laughs> I can, you can speak. Yes. Claro. Démosle de nuevo. I am, I am happy. I'm driving next weekend. Next week. Who's a next week? But, but I have to trade. To travel, to travel to, to travel. another city. I to have travel. to travel to another city. City, no city, porque no es británico usted. City. To another city. 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 Sounds like you will be busy. I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> having a training next week. I'm taking an okay. training. I will ask for learning a meeting conference. Nice. Bueno, yo creo que ya están, ¿verdad? Sí. Okie dokie. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Me los llevaré ya. Ya, vamos. Bye. Okay, we're here. Nice, nice. We're missing a couple of people. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm.
Basha. Let's go to the exercise, right? Oh, a ver, antes de que algo pase, que se nos olvide, le check attendance. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. No está Ana. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. A David. Present teacher. Diego. Diego, Diego. Edwin, Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Emma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. No está Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen. Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia, Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Grace. Present teacher. No me pierda. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis, no here. Bueno, ahí estamos. Ahí estamos, estamos. Volvemos. Let's see. Okay. Number one, look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Number one, ¿qué dice? I am having a training next week. Present progressive, right? I am having. Uh -huh. I am having a training next week. Uh, what about number two? Taking. I am taking. I am taking. I am taking. I am. Ay, qué barbaridad. Taking. Miren qué letra colocha. I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. Um, number three. I will ask. For e-learning options next time. I will ask for e-learning options next time. And number four? I, I am meeting. meeting of things at the conference tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ahí está. I am meeting some friends at the conference tonight. Mm -hmm, nice. Now repeat after me. I'm having a training next week. I'm having a training, a training next, week. Week. next week. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. I am taking okay. an e-learning e training, 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 training on safety procedures. Again, 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 I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. 
I will ask for e learning options next time. I will ask for e learning options next time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. I will meet some friends at a conference tonight. Okay. Questions. No? Bueno, asumo que no. Vaya, let's see. Uh, vocabulary building, check this exercise. Uh, you're going to match here. Remember talking about the importance of trainings and also you have been mentioned in different types of trainings, right, during this day. So what you're going to do here, match I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to use your dictionary, for you to take your time and match the descriptions with the types of trainings. We have off the shelf training courses, in house training, shadowing, and mentoring, okay? Check each of them, then match them with the descriptions and be ready to check. You'll have five minutes to do it, five minutes to do it before we check it, okay? Go ahead. Anna, 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 where are you? Anna, 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 Anna. No la veo. No listen, Anna. Anna, hello. Anna. Ana, 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 Ana. Solo veo la manita, pero veo que no escucha. I hear. Can you hear? Can you hear? Okay. Tell me something. No. No. No, teacher, sería mejor que Ana se salga de sesión y vuelva a entrar. Tal vez así sí, ya le agarra bien. Dice que ya se salió y volvió a entrar, pero en la vez anterior no nos escuchaba. Nosotros la escuchábamos a ella, pero ella no nos escuchaba. Hoy al menos hay problemas con la red también. Sí, es probable. Pero bueno, o por lo menos hoy ya nos oye. ¿Verdad? Pa. Así quédese, así quédese. 
Uh -huh. Ahí sí, si tiene preguntas, ahí me escribe. <ríe> ok. Vaya, go ahead. Eh, let's match the trainings with the descriptions, right? Two more minutes and then we check. Lo leo, teacher. Yes, Karen. Okay. It involves one employee involves. following an involves. 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 It involves uh -huh. one employee following another employee, like a shadow, to learn all the aspects of Aspect. a job. Mm -hmm. Aspect of a job. Of a job. This is especially uh, how do you say it? suitable? Suitable. 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 It's especially it suitable. suitable for new employees as part of their induction. Induction. And induction. I think is uh, shadowing. I think so too. Okay, that's shadowing. Ow, brilliant. Teacher, en la, en, la, en la conversación aparecía una palabra que decía e-learning. ¿Por qué el... el e. El, the el electron, electronic learning. That's electronic learning. Es como cuando usted escribe email. Email lleva, lleva un guión entre la i e y mail. Pero sigue significando lo mismo. Es que así se escribe con guión. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Vaya, chequen. Por ejemplo, mail, mail puede ser así como que usted recibe una carta, pero ya si es email, ya es el correo electrónico. Es entre, va con el electronic. Es ahí de electronic. Cuando usted tiene un book, puede ser un book, así en pasta dura, libro, o un ebook, un ebook sería un electronic book como lo de los Kindles, right? That's an ebook. Y aquí un e-learning is a training that you receive online in an electronic way, right? By a, who wants to read the second? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, Jose Alberto. Keeper generic course. The staff will join employees from other business on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or, or count parts a particular recognize, 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 recognize qualification. Qualification. Like the conferences that you have, right? Sometimes you may have conferences. For example, vaya, yo voy a dar el ejemplo de lo que conozco. <laughs> we teachers uh, sometimes have conferences uh, where we share with other teachers, right? The conference is given by an editorial, right? And they give us a, a, a recognized qualification. They give us a diploma, right? But in the, in the course, that's a generic course uh, given by a, an edit editorial for all the schools that use that book. So they are not preparing a course for us as a school and then a course for another school and for another, another. No, they give a, a course for all the schools that are using their books. And then uh, that's why it says from other businesses, right? So we have a, a teachers from other schools that are, that are using exactly the same book, right? Or the same material. But the purpose of the course is to achieve or count towards a particular qualification. Oh, another example of this could be like the, the MOOC. MOOC are online courses, but those are courses. It's not just a training, those are courses that are given 
for example, the American Embassy offers many MOOCs on different topics. And they are offered for teachers from different uh, parts of the world, right? not only for El Salvador, but they, they can be taken by teachers from wherever and they will receive a, a patch at the end. It's not a diploma, it's a patch, it's una cosita, see? It's an electronic diploma, the one that you get, right? And you can use it, you can share that electronic diploma uh, to any company you want to share it. So you say, look, I have achieved this goal. I have this, rec uh, this uh, qualification. I took this course online and I received a patch, right? And now I can share it with you. Okay, but what is it? What is it describing? Off-the-shelf training courses, in-house training, or mentoring? Off-the-shelf training courses. Number one. Number one. Yes. Ay, pero qué barbaridad. De repente escribo pando. Okay. And when you have a generic course, in this case, off-the-shelf training course can be a training that you gave it before also right you prepare it you gave it before and now you will give it again to another school to another group of of, of participants from different institutions but it's generic so no le va a cambiar nada no lo va a pegar a, a, a esta gente que trabaja en la farmacia no es para todo el mundo right that would be a generic course Okay, what about the next one? Who wants to read the next? Me. Me teacher. Vaya, uh, Lisette Dayanara, this one, and Rosie, the last one. Pacha, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> it involves the informal transmission of knowledge and so social capital. Over a period of time. It is essential to have a mentor. Ajá. Y nos perdimos todo esto, no lo oímos. Señorita robot, <laughs> señorita robot, <laughs> it sounded like a robot. Okay, it involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. So it includes many things, right? Face-to-face uh, -face meetings, emails, telephone communication even now we can we can add whatsapp chats <laughs> right and it is essential to have a mentor what is it is number four mentoring uh -huh. mentoring very good hey vaya ya se le fue el robot ahí está okay so yeah that's mentoring right when you mentor somebody, mm, you're there casi que, que 24 7, right? So you can receive emails, you can receive uh, chats in the, in the WhatsApp or a telephone call or sometimes face to face training or meeting. Uh, but the purpose is to transmit knowledge. Uh, for some period of time, right? And it's informal. So it doesn't have to be something too formal. And of course, I'm not going to give you a diploma. I'm not going to give you a patch, nothing. Just the knowledge. That's only the transmission of knowledge. That's the only purpose here. 
Okay, that's mentoring. Aha, uh -huh, Rosy, let's go for the last one. Okay, teacher. It allows people to learn at their own place on place and to apply new knowledge apply. immediately. And to apply. And to apply new knowledge immediately. 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 Immediate. Immediately. Immediately. The training must be technically able to do the task and have the patience to teach or coach. Mm -hmm. um, the trainer um, must be technically able to do the task. Yeah, the trainer, checking, este es el trainer. Must be technically able to do the task and have the patience to teach or coach. Imagine when you have a trainer that is bored <laughs> and it's as like, por eso porque no entiendo. Right, and you were like, pero ¿qué, por qué, qué se lo acabo de decir? And you go like, yes, but I don't remember. Yeah, so it is very important. Remember that the trainer be patient, right? Have the patience to teach and coach. What, what is the difference between teach and coach? What's the difference? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between teach or coach? What is coach? Como entrenar. Y teach? Enseñar. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? I think the coach is more personal. Uh -huh. Maybe because they have the idea for for a gym, mm -hmm. the, uh, the the principal idea for a gym. So the okay. the coach is more personal. Uh, he uh, acompaña. Yes. He, uh, he. How do you say acompaña? Accompanies. Accompany. Uh -huh. And teacher, obviously teach. But I I don't know. I have the idea as a normal teacher that is the person who who learns who gives you the knowledge and prepare for, uh, with basic tools. I don't know, something uh -huh, like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why it says to have the patience to teach, so to transmit the knowledge or to coach, right? So uh, um, when I coach, I'm there until I see you can do it. Yes. So now you can do it. I can leave you alone. But if while you cannot do it yet, I'm still there watching you. And once I see you can be independent, okay, go ahead. Caigase solito. Yeah. And I will pick you up. That's what the coach makes. Right? It's there to help you uh, give the steps, give the first steps. And to see you walking and then to see you running, right? And what is something good about this uh, training is that you are in your own place. And you have to apply the knowledge immediately. Yeah? Immediately. You're going to do it immediately. So I'm teaching you how to do something. Imagine I'm teaching you how to makeup. Hey, hey, que chistoso porque no puedo ni para mí, ¿verdad? So, but I'm, I'm teaching you how to make up your eyes. Yeah, how to put on make a makeup on your eyes. And what I'm checking is that you are applying the knowledge I'm transmitting to you immediately. No later, but now. Right? Now in the moment, so immediately. And the trainer must be technically able. 
Imagine, uh, for example, something that I will never accept teaching is math. Because I'm not technically able to do that. I will suffer, right? I wouldn't. I, I remember when I was at the university, I knew many things. I learned very well. And in that year, in that semester, I could explain to whoever how to do things. But ask me a couple of years later, I'm not technically able to do the task related to math. Right? I can have the patience to see you suffer with me, but not to teach you or not to coach you. Right? But if we're talking about any other aspect that I can do, that I'm technically able to do it, I can perfectly teach you or coach you. Right? Okay, what is it? What training is it? Hmm? In-house training. House training. In-house training. Yeah. A ver, now that you know all the definitions, which of these trainings would you prefer? Uh-huh. Which of these trainings would you prefer? Choose one. Imagine your boss tells you, okay, uh, we will have a training next week. Choose. What do you want? Off the shelf training course, in house training, shadowing, or mentoring. Which do you prefer? The one that you choose is what you will have. What would you choose? In house training. Mm hmm. Okay, why? Because uh, the time I think is is I I can be I can have uh, I can have I can to have more freedom for my job in my in my work hours mm -hmm. or work time. Okay. Okay, okay. I was thinking here about, uh, for example, using a, an Excel page. The first time I started using Excel, crazy. I didn't know how, right? And I didn't understand the formulas. I guess I was explained a couple of times. I brought all the steps on how to make the formula, but I failed when I wanted to use it. But I had a coach at home. So it was uh, an in-house training. Because I had a coach at home who told me again, again, and again, until I learned how to use Excel. Now I'm independent and I can use it. I won't say this very well, but if I want to make a formula, I can do it. Right? I can perfectly do what I need to do with Excel, right? But at the very beginning, I was scared of Excel. So people have, people have to know math to be able to use Excel. And that's why I was scared. <laughs> but uh, with the time, you learn, right? But for me, yes, this one worked very well. Have you ever tried shadowing? Shadowing. Nobody? 
in my eh, antiguo trabajo. Eh, in your previous job. In my previous job, I have to learn eh, for the new co-workers eh, to make the things that they are contracted for. That they are hired. Eh, that they are hired for, for do. So eh, you have a week to learn they, eh, to mentoring all the things that you know for the position that they are gonna, they are going to, to I to to hire that they, they that they I hire. So, so mentoring or shadowing. Mentoring because combine. Eh, ¿cómo? or you combine. No, uh -huh, you combine because you have to be eh, explaining and you have to be. Eh, watching that they are that they are executing the things correctly because you only have a week for learning and show everything that they have to do okay wow so you do it in an informal way remember mentoring is informal right mentoring is informal because in the in this in this place they didn't have a manual for procedures, for these kind of procedures. Oh, I, mm -hmm. see. I see. Okay, very good. What about the others? What would you choose? I guess this is like one of the most common, right? Of the shelf training course. Mm -hmm especially for the ones that uh, move in the middle of different companies that do the same as we do, we have that type of training, yeah? Okay, when well, let's move. Remember just yesterday, no, Friday, right? Remember Friday, we were talking about the use of will and the present progressive, right? We said, both I used to talk about future. That we said also that we use will to talk about future plans when I'm not very sure if my plans will happen or not. I use it also to talk about future intentions, right? I have the intention, but will that happen? Maybe yes, maybe no. I uh, use it also to talk about something spontaneous, a decision that I do in the moment of speaking. That's what we call an all on the spot decision, a decision that I do in the moment, right? So I was not planning to do it before, but I did it in the moment. I use will also to talk, to make offers. I'll help you. I'll open the door for you. I close, don't worry. I'll come tomorrow, right? So you offer. If you make an offer, you will. If you make a promise like the ones we used to make our mothers when we were children, we use promise, right? For promises, we use will. So you say, I'll, I'll finish the platform by tomorrow, teacher promise, right? I'll finish before 10 30. <laughs> so that's a promise, right? That's a promise. But uh, decisions, we said it's a non spot decision, right? It's similar to this one. Something is spontaneous, you say something is spontaneous, you will, or you make a decision in the moment, also you use will. A ver, if I tell you, I will help you with the documents. What am I doing? An offer, a promise, a decision, or a future intention? I will help you with the documents. Hmm? It's a promise. can be a promise or an offer, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes promises and offers are very similar. Look at the next one. They will ask about e-learning options. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? They will ask about e-learning options. Hmm? That we like a decision, right? For a future intention. So he said, mm, next time I will ask for any learning option. So I won't travel to the next city. Okay, we will be on time. A promise, exactly, Adriana. That's a promise. Okay, now remember, we said on Friday that we use the present progressive when plans and arrangements have been made. So when we say about an arrangement, an arrangement is um, something that I know will happen and I have everything ready, right? Everything is prepared for that. For example, if you say, I'm flying to Los Angeles tomorrow. I already packed my bag. I have my passport and visa ready. I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to go out, right? The servers are having a training this weekend. We already know who's giving the training. And the servers already know that they have a training. Yes. He's meeting his boss at the airport tomorrow morning, or tomorrow at six. He's meeting the boss. Remember we said we use the present continuous. In this case, we using the present continuous to talk about future and a very near future. See? I'm not talking about something happening now or around now. I'm talking about a very near future. See, he's meeting his boss at six, uh, at the airport tomorrow at six, near, right? What is he doing tomorrow? Well, he's meeting his boss at six, at the airport, very early. Now, we will have a couple of exercises to complete. Let's use, remember, use the correct option, a will or present continue to complete the sentence. Okay? Will or present continue, so present progressive as you wish you could. Call it. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do it. And then we check. Checking that if it says not, that means it has to be negative. Okay. If it says not, that means it has to be negative. Go ahead. The vocabulary we did today is for tomorrow's uh, assignment. Okay, so you can do you can do tomorrow's assignment with that. Let me know when you're ready so we can check. Rosie, 
You stay with me today, Rosa. Okay, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. A ver, number one says, would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I'll have I... orange juice. What I about number two? Have... Yes, I will have orange juice. Uh, number two? We have. Read the whole sentence. I can come with you on Sunday. Sunday. I am having a training at the restaurant. Okay, I'm having or I will have? I will I have. have. I'm having. Yes, I will say I'm having. having. Because we're talking about uh, oh, yeah. an arrangement, right? I'm having. I'm having. What about number three? You look tired, I will help. You finish the document. Uh -huh. I will help you. And uh, something very common, uh, por eso lo voy a poner así. something very common is that when you make an offer, you use a contraction, okay? That's something very common. You're making an offer or you're making a promise, generally, you use a contraction. A ver, number four. The kitchen manager is flying to Italy from on Friday. Aha, uh -huh. he's flying because here are the tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Okay, what about number five? The owner will come to talk to talk to talk to us about training solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, the owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. He will come when. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows that it, we, we know that he will come. Okay, number six. Negative. He won't he work next week. Work. Next weekend, near future, right? He. He he. He, 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 he doesn't. He isn't. El doesn't no existe. Okay. He isn't. He isn't working. Sí. He isn't working next week. Uh -huh. He isn't working next week. Very good. Can you say he won't work next week? Yeah, we can. He has the intention, right, for not working. So we can say he won't work next week. 
A ver. I remember exercise four. We were doing here. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to tell me which are the advantages and which are the disadvantages of each of these types of training, right? A ver. Which would work better at your workplace in terms of cost and learning quality for the employees? And then explain your choices to the class. I'm going to let you think. Remember, advantages and disadvantages of training solutions in exercise four, which would be better for, for you, for you at your workplace, which would be better. Think about cost, think about quality, right? For the employees. But los dejo aquí. Think about it, couple of minutes, and then we discuss. Or if you are ready, if you are ready to tell me, tell me. Volunteer, victim. Volunteer, volunteer. A ver, Lisette Dayanara, tell me, choose a victim. Okay, teacher. Um... Gemma. Vaya Gemma. Advantages, disadvantages, Gemma. And think about cost and think about the quality of the training. Gemma, Gemma. Creo que no está Gemma. Gemma. No, no está. Choose another, another victim. Edwin, vamos Edwin. Si ahí está conectada Gemma, pero no está. Vaya Edwin, tell us. I think the, the best uh, course of training is the in-house training. Okay. But uh, in, in the same time, uh, Uh, the employee have teach and or coach in the same time. It's more easy to uh, understand. Okay. So that's the, the you will the, say. This is, okay. According to the cost, right? Mm -hmm. Does it have any disadvantages, Edwin? Any disadvantages about this train? No, I think I think no, no. No disadvantages. No. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Choose a victim. Jose Alberto. Vaya, Jose Alberto. Okay. I agree with Edwin. For me, the, the best is, is, is in house of uh, in house training. Mm -hmm. Because um, we can use better our resource. Mm -hmm. And Sometimes we can repeat one, two, three times uh, the 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 course or or the training mm -hmm. if if if, uh, if we need to to see again and I think is 
more cheaper or cheaper. Definitely cheaper. Mm -hmm. And you can apply it immediately, right? Yeah. Nice. Immediately. Nice, nice. Okay, Alberto, choose one more volunteer. More volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, David. David. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda, vaya Rosy. Sí, ahí se estaba escondiendo. No, me estaba riendo. No, no, no. Se estaba riendo de que dijo David, pero mire. Teacher, I agree, I agree with Edwin and Jose Alberto. The better is in-house training. Mm -hmm. Why? Which are the advantages? Which are the disadvantages, if any? Uh, the advantage is um, because people to learn immediately knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they can apply it immediately, right? Yes. Can that be, be individual only for you? Mm. Do you think it is individual? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's is mejor. It's best. It's better. It's better. Okay. It's better. Mm -hmm. uh, for security. Uh -huh. um, así como nosotros que de noche, teacher. Ah, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But imagine, what about the trainer going to your house to do, to do the task? Yes. El trainer va a tener que irse solito. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a ver. Any other activity, idea here? Yes, teacher. Vale, oh, voy a leer antes de que nos sure. eh, eh, In-house training or internal training is a type of corporate training that involves the use of companies' own expertise and resources. The activity of training employees is carried out by internal staff and employees. No es que es en su casa, ¿verdad? No es que es en su casa. Está en la empresa. Pero yo no ocupo a una persona de fuera para que me venga a dar la capacitación como regularmente se hace, sino que ocupo a la gente del, de la casa, digamos, a la gente de la empresa. Entonces, eh, ahí en toda empresa hay expertos. Entonces, yo ocupo los recursos de la empresa y lo, el, the expertise, uy, alguien está hablando de mí, the expertise of the company, right? Entonces, sí se lleva en la empresa con el staff de la empresa. ¿Sí? Entonces, no, no porque diga in-house training significa que es en su casita. Oye, sino que es en cuando nosotros decimos esta capacitación va a ser con gente de la casa. No es que su esposo y sus hermanos le van a ir a dar el training. No sino que va a ser un colega, un supervisor, un coordinador, el manager, alguien de la empresa, ¿sí? Alguien del staff es, es el que le va a dar la capacitación, ¿sí? Entonces puede ser, no dice, no dice que sea a qué hora, si dentro del horario o qué, ¿verdad? Pero, este si es un training que la organización prepara para eh, capacitarlo de la mejor manera utilizando lo que la empresa tiene sin tener que estar pagando gente de fuera para hacerlo. Uh -huh. Any question? No question. Uh -huh. 
¿Quién me dijo teacher antes de que yo empezara aquí? Teacher, me dijeron teacher. No. Karen y Stephanie. No. Bueno. Yes, teacher. Eh, ¿Usted quería hablar? No, no fui yo. Pues están asustando. <risa> Pero ya que lo menciona, este, mañana vamos a responder. Le pregunto, ya que lo menciona, mañana vamos a responder la encuesta. Sí, mañana, porque mañana es el último día. Oye, gracias, Karen. No vayan a tocar la encuesta, no la vayan a responder, no se responde solitos, eso lo responden conmigo y vamos al pasito, pasito. Oye, okay, mañana la respondemos juntos. Vamos a ver, tell me present, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. Ya sé que ahí está, ¿verdad? No puede hablar. Soy Soriana. Eh, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Carlos Alexander. David Alexander. Yo dije, ya me cambié el nombre. Ay, no, para variar. Llegó eh, no hier, ¿verdad? Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma. Present teacher. Ajá, me esconde. Jessica Lisset. Jessica. Jessica no está. Vamos a ver, Jessica. No. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia, no hay. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Mike. Eh, Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Rosy. Present teacher. Grace Michelle, yo la vi que estaba por allí. Yes, present teacher. Ay, señorita. Eh, Rosy. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ok, bueno, vámonos. Excepto Rosy. Good night, teacher. Good Thank night. you so much. Good night, teacher. Good night, bro. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you, see you. A bye. A dormir. Good night. <ríe> a dormir, a dormir. Está rico para dormir. ¿Verdad? No, teacher, aquí está haciendo un calor horrible que no se soporta. Son sonate. Son sonate. Mm. Ha sido un día, pero caluroso. Sí. Es que hay como, o sea, hace calor normal, pero hay mucha humedad. Ajá. Pero será por las arenas del Sahara que están por aquí. Ah, verdad que es algún fenómeno, porque es que se siente como que el calor, no sé, bien raro. Yo pienso que también eso afecta el internet. 
Ah, sí, porque a muchos les está fallando. Sí, mucho, mucho, mucho. Yo sábado no tuve luz ni internet toda la mañana. Me tocó sí, dar sí. clases conectada con datos. Y así es más lento. Sí, algo, pero, bueno, ni tanto, pero sí se gasta más. Sí. Y está pagando paquete de, de, de datos para conectarse dos sábados seguidos. Porque así el sábado anterior, 7.31, pum, se fue la luz. Y hoy, ¿Y se están reparando. Gracias. Y hoy, 8 y 5, otra vez se fue la luz. Es que imagino. No hay electricity. Every Saturday. Uh -huh. Fortunately, it is not at night. <laughs> but yeah, every single Saturday we have two Saturdays, but like that, two Saturdays in a row that there is no internet, no internet, no electricity. Imagine. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, let's see what will happen this coming Saturday if I will have internet and electricity. Mm -hmm. Ok, tell me, Rosy, do you have any questions? Teacher, no tenía nada preparado, no me acordaba que me tocaba quedarme. <ríe> Pero, teacher, ¿y qué me pasa a mí? Porque fíjese que yo entiendo, por lo menos un 80% entiendo, pero no sé por qué no, no hablo y a veces me pasa de que hay cosas que las aprendo, pero al ratito las olvido. <ríe> Va, y lo que tiene que hacer, recuerde, vea lo que hablábamos la vez pasada. Eh, le cuesta, usted diga las cosas, aunque se equivoque, no importa. Ajá. Usted tírese a hablar, tírese a hablar. Con la práctica es que usted va a ir agarrando más confianza. Y si quiere hablar, tiene que escuchar. Ajá. Oye. Porque ese está conectado, el, el listening está conectado con el speaking. Y el reading está conectado con el writing. Entonces, si usted quiere aprender a hablar, tiene que someterse a más listening. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, en, en la medida en que usted haga más listening, más práctica de listening, eh, cuando sienta así, espontáneamente le va a ir saliendo, pero... Pero, ajá, y, y lo otro es tirarse a hablar que aunque le cueste, no piense, no, no lo piense mucho, solo dígalo. Eso quizás me pase. Sí, no lo piense mucho, solo dígalo. O sea, usted ya entendió la pregunta. Lo que sucede es que a veces están tan pendientes del querer hacer las cosas súper bien que ahí es donde se bloquean. Uh -huh. Si usted ya entendió la pregunta, dele, dele con la respuesta, no se quede analizando tanto qué es lo que va a decir o si lo va a decir correcto o no, porque, porque ahí es donde está el bloqueo, que se, sí, puede, eh, se puede poner a, a pensar si lo va a decir exactamente como debe de ser o si se equivoca. O que entonces no, no se preocupe de eso. Oye, porque en la medida en que usted va hablando, se le va corrigiendo lo que dice. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Pero si no habla porque se queda así como que si me equivoco, entonces usted sola se está poniendo límites. Uh -huh. ¿Sabe que Yo pienso, pena no siento, porque no siento pena, ni modo. Pero no sé, a la hora de hablar es como que mi mente queda en cero. Uh -huh. Pero es porque está pensándolo mucho. Uh -huh. Está pensándolo mucho en que sí lo va a decir bien o no. Pero entonces tírese a, hablar, tírese a decir las cosas. Porque fíjese que cuando se le pregunta directamente, usted responde y responde bien. Uh -huh. Y lógico. Ajá. O sea, responde lógico y responde correctamente. Entonces es cuestión de que no lo piense tanto, ¿verdad? No lo piense tanto, o sea, si le preguntaron, responda, y si se equivocó, no importa. 
¿verdad? No porque, me van a entender. <risas> porque lo que necesita es ir quitando el bloqueo. Eso. Eso es lo que tengo. Sí. Y sabe lo que me frustra más? Que ya es intermedio, ya estamos terminando el otro módulo. Y no sé. Quizás me he metido más eso en la mente que otra cosa. ¿verdad? Sí, no es que eso es cuestión que, que usted se bloquea. No es que no pueda. No es que no pueda, usted puede, pero se bloquea por el hecho de quererlo hacer correctamente. Uh -huh. Entonces usted tírese a responder y si se equivoca hay que. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. No pasa nada, no pasa nada. Lo importante es quitar ese bloqueo y empezar a responder y empezar a hablar. ¿Verdad? Eso es lo importante. Y oiga más, ¿verdad? Hoy en internet ustedes tienen la facilidad que no tuvimos nosotros cuando aprendimos. A mí me tocaba que ir a hacer prácticas de listening con unas caseteras así grandotas y unos grandes audífonos. Hoy no, y en cualquier parte pueden hacer práctica de listening con el celular, ¿verdad? Entonces... Usted puede poner listening comprehension exercises en, en internet y ahí le va a salir un montón. Entonces, allí este, entre más usted se exponga a hacer ejercicios de audio, ¿verdad? O, o póngase a escuchar cualquier cosa que a usted le guste escuchar. Póngalo, póngase a escucharlo en inglés y va a ver que su oído se le va a ir acostumbrando y al mismo tiempo eh, usted se va a ir soltando a hablar. Porque están conectados. Uh -huh. Esas dos cosas están conectadas. Y cuando menos sienta me va a decir, vaya, teacher. Hoy sí. Y Primero Dios, teacher, en el otro. Porque usted nos va a dar el otro módulo. Bro. Sí, ya estamos para el 25. Okay. Así que quítese el miedo. Dele, si se equivoca. Ay, que, pues, hasta yo me equivoco, vaya. Y ya llevo ratitos en esto. No, pero usted se equivoca cuando este, quiere decirlo en español y no se acuerda cómo se dice. Ay, sí. Al revés. Ya me olvido el, el español. Ya. Sí, me da risa cuando le pasa eso. Y yo, qué envidia la teacher. Ya se me olvido el español. Así como, how do you say in Spanish? Hasta ver. Sí, sí. Pero no, no se preocupe, suéltese. Primero Dios, si salgo de las últimas en el otro módulo, ya va a ver que primero vamos a hablar un rato en inglés. Eso, eso, muy bien, muy bien. Me llega. Okay. Vaya pues, Rosy. Have a good night. Gracias. Have a good night. Good See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.